in this video we'll be talking about the average speed and the average velocity the average speed is defined as the total distance the total distance the total distance divided by the total time right so that's how the average speed is defined the unit of the average speed is the meter per second because the unit of distance is meter and the unit of time is second the average speed is again always positive it cannot be negative because the distance is a scalar quantity it has only magnitude it does not have direction so the average speed is again a scalar quantity that means it does not have any direction it has only magnitude now let's talk about the average velocity the average velocity the average velocity is the is the total displacement divided by the time how much displacement an object has traveled within a given time is the the displacement look at the notation here here the average velocity is defined by the denoted by v and there is a sign here and the bar sign here this sign this one represents the average velocity the, so if, if anything that does have a, a little hat over that means it is the average all right and mathematically the mathematically average velocity is given by the change in the the position divided by the change in the time or the change in the position is given by the final position minus initial position divided by the final time minus initial time the tf is the final time and this is the initial time all right this is a vector quantity displacement is a vector quantity that means it has both magnitude and it has direction again the unit is meter per second so here we talked about the average speed and the average velocity now now let's take a difference between both and we'll go through the the differences by given an example so let's start from this this one so here you have a particle or an object which is started from point A and it is moving in a rectangle and the and the direction is given by this way it is moving from point A in a, in a rectangle this way and come back to exactly the same position now you need to find out what is the average speed and what is the average velocity so look at the definition here what is the average speed here the average speed is the total distance divided by the total time so we have to calculate what is the total the distance so the total distance is the, the total path which is four meter three meter seven four meter plus three meter so the distance divided by the time and what is the total distance this 4 meter plus 3 meter 4 meter plus 3 meter so it is 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 and the total time is given which is 7 second so it will be the total will be 14 divided by 2 which is again sorry 14 divided by 7 which is 2 second 2 meter per second that is the average speed now let's calculate the average velocity the average velocity is the final position minus initial position or the displacement divided by time by the time So what is the displacement? The displacement is the length 
connecting initial and the final point. If we connect the initial and the final point, it is exactly zero. So they are, in other words, there is no change in the position. The object or the person or the man came back to exactly the same position after moving in a complete rectangle. So there is no change in the position or the initial position and the final position is exactly the same. So there is no change in the position. That means the total displacement is zero. And the time is seven seconds. If you divide it, you again get the zero meter per second. So you see the average speed is two meter per second, but the average velocity is zero meter per second. So what is the average velocity gives you? The average velocity tells you what is the, the position after a certain time. So as the position is exactly the same, so the object did not um, move any, the, or the change in the position of the object is exactly the same. All right, so that is the average, the difference between the average speed and the average velocity. Now, let me give you another example here. Again, you have the two persons here. The one person started moving to the right this way and the another person started moving to the left. Both persons has moved one, five meter in exactly two seconds. Now, let's calculate the average speed and the average velocity for both objects. Average speed. Let's start with the average speed. Average speed. And this is for person one and person two. The average speed is denoted by S, S bar or S, we simply call S bar here. So what is the average um, speed of the person one? The distance divided by the time. The distance is five meter and the time is two. So it will be 2.5 meter per second. And again, for the person two, the distance, the distance is five meter divided by the time. It is still 2.5 meter per second. So the average speed for both is exactly the same. Now let's calculate the average displacement. Sorry, average velocity. The average velocity is denoted by V a line on the top what we call v bar for person one from here denoting by s a and or s1 or s2 just to make a difference as v1 for the person one for the person one what is the displacement the displacement is five meter we call this direction as a positive direction so this is the five meter divided by the time two, and this one will be negative or positive 2.5 meter per second. And for person two, the average velocity is the displacement. Now, what is the displacement in this case for the person two? For the person two, the displacement is negative five meter. And the reason is it has moved in the opposite direction. And the time is exactly the same. So it will be negative two and a half meter per second. So that is the average velocity for person one. And this is the average velocity for the person two. You see the difference here. The one is positive and the other is negative. While the average velocity for both object, oh sorry, average speed for both person is exactly the same. But the average velocity, the magnitude is the same, but the direction is opposite. Now let's take a th another example here. So let's say you started moving from this point A along this line here, and then this is your final position. 
Now we have to calculate what is the final or what is the average speed and the, what is the average velocity. So again, average speed, how do you define the average speed? The average speed is defined as the, the change or the total distance divided by the time. What is the total the distance? The total distance is 3 meter plus the 4 meter here. This uh, 3 meter plus 4 meter and the total time the total time is 2 second plus 3 second so 7 divided by 5 and the 7 divided by 5 is 1.4 1.4 meter per second and this is the average speed now how to calculate the average velocity in this case the average velocity is defined as the the displacement and how do you calculate the displacement the length of this path a straight line connecting initial and final point gives you the total displacement and what is the length connecting point a and point b this is given by a square root of 3 a square plus 4 a square so the average velocity is now 3 a square plus 5 a square this will be 5 meter 5 meter so in this case the displacement divided by the time so the displacement in this case is 5 meter and the time is two the total time is again five second two second and this is the three seconds so the total time is five second so the average velocity is one meter per second and the average speed is 1.4 meter per second as i mentioned the velocity is a vector quantity it has both magnitude and direction this gives the magnitude now what is the direction how do you find out the angle in order to find out the angle this is the angle now we can calculate this angle if you look at this in triangle here this triangle this sine theta from this triangle is p which is 4 over h and the, uh, this is the h here 5 so if we do the math 4 divided by 5 shift sine you'll get theta is 53.13 degree so that gives you the the angle so this is the magnitude and this is the angle that means the person travels from point a at an angle of 53.13 degree at an, um, uh, and the magnitude of the velocity is one meter per second and, and this is the the direction so this is the magnitude and this gives you the, the direction all right thank you